Hey chulas, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sonia. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a look slash review of the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you want to see how I created this look and my thoughts on this palette, continue watching. <laughs> So like I said, we're going to be using the Norvina palette by ABH and this is what it looks like inside. It looks really pretty. I really love these colors. Taking the color Eccentric, we're going to be using that as a transition shade and we're just going to add that all over the crease. So now we're going to be going in with the color Love and we're just going to take that and go over Eccentric and just add that all over the crease as well. Now you do have to be careful with this shade. It has a lot of fallout so if you're one of those people that do their foundation first, just be careful. So going back in with Eccentric, we're just going to take that and blend out Love. Just make sure that there's no harsh lines and blending those two colors together just so that it looks nice and neat. So for the last crease shade that I'm going to be using, we're going to go in with Soul and we're just going to take that halfway. Um, just focusing on the outer V of the eye just to give it a little bit of more depth. So here I'm just going back and forth with the shades and making sure everything's well blended, adding what needs to be added. You guys know the deal. Going in with the shade base, I'm taking that as a corrector kind of sort of and just adding that all over my brow bone making sure everything is nicely blended there's no harsh lines so I decided to go in with wild child and just add that in the middle of the lid because I do go in with another shade and add that to the inner corner of my eye so yeah So here I'm just taking Celestial and I'm adding that to the outer corner of the eye and just making sure that I blend it in with the other colors so that everything looks well put together. So off camera, I did go ahead and um, add these two pencils on the waterline and they're by 
NYX and they're just two pastel colors. One's a baby blue and the other's a baby pink. And I just went ahead and added those to the waterline. I did half pink and then half blue. And then for drop shadow, I did go in with two colors and I used love as a transition shade. And then I went in with rose gold. And then for the, the inner highlight, I used this shade Dreamer. And I think it looks really pretty. So I am going to go off camera and I'm going to finish it. I don't know if I'm going to add a wing or not. But yeah, let's go ahead and cut the camera so I can finish this look. Alright, you guys. So my overall thought about the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills is, um, I actually like it. It's not that bad. Um, I dug into a couple of shades, as you guys saw. The only shade that I did see that had a lot of fallout was Love, but other than that. I don't have anything bad to say about this palette. Um, the shadows, they actually worked good with the brush for me. But of course, nowadays with palettes, um, you know, it's a lot better if you do use your finger when applying shadows like this. Especially like these, the shimmers right here. It's just going to give you a better payoff. And also if you wet your brush. I actually didn't wet my brush. I just went ahead and used it dry. Um, so yeah, my overall thoughts about this palette is it's actually pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, like I said, uh, Love was the only one that had a lot of fallout. Soul had fallout as well, but not as much as Love did. And yeah, maybe I'll do another look using the other brown shades. But for now, I did want to use the more colorful ones which is love soul and eccentric so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did and i will see you chulas in my next one bye